everybody me and my shadow i'm finally back out arrowhead hunting um, i've just got a about an hour or two after work here it's thursday the 13th of january 2022 i'm gonna turn this way to block you from the wind um and uh i'm just gonna poke around here for a little bit see if i can find anything maybe get a short video a lot of material has moved around i haven't been since i got sick this is the first time i've been able to get back out to arrowhead hunt first time the weather's been decent for it um and uh i think i just found something maybe not Anyway, a lot of materials shifted around out here since the uh, last time I was out hunting was the 18th of December, so it's been a while. Uh, weather's supposed to turn real crappy this weekend, so I probably won't be able to get out, unfortunately. So we're going to hope for some, some luck today, and uh, yeah, you bet. I see the first promising rock I've seen since I've been out here today. We'll see if it's anything. It's a worked piece of stone. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm on the board. Look at this. Uh, this caught my eye. This big old piece of, I guess it's chert, jasper chert, something like that. It's got all these little thumb-sized holes in it, which, I don't know. Then you flip it over and there's a great big uh, bulb blown out right there. Kind of all over it. Big round, small fist-sized rock. Got some nice bands of color in it. I guess that's been worked on. I don't know what that would be though. I don't really want to carry it out of here with me, but maybe I will. Might be too dark to see this. I'm on my way out. I just found a melted marble. Cool. All right, guys, um, I'm back. This is probably going to be a continuation video from my very short Thursday hunt that didn't yield much. Um, but it's Friday after work today. I took off a little bit early today, um, and so I've got just slightly more time, maybe maybe three hours today. Uh, so we're going to take a peek around and see if we can find anything while we're out here. cool conglomerate so far today I've been out here about half an hour since that last first clip I took and I I haven't uh, I haven't found anything except for a couple of crudely worked pieces of rock and one flake um, it's supposed to snow tomorrow so probably won't be out tomorrow on Saturday. I do have a surprise for everyone though. Uh, and you'll find out about that soon enough, but pretty soon we're going to be uh, 
able to access a lot more areas on the river than I ever used to be. So that's a little hint to you. I just spotted, uh oh, I've lost it. No, I haven't. Can you see it? It's a piece of tooth enamel. I haven't found any of that in a while. popping out a little bit. Hey, I just found a great big piece of work stone. At least I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Well, that's had a lot of flakes blown off of it. Holy cow. Great material too. I'm keeping that. That's really cool. That's worked all the way around. Maybe they're just blowing little flakes off for cutters. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna find something today. my right here where the water's at out that way um, yesterday when I was here it was down dramatically from where it's at right now it's way up from just yesterday but the water levels in general are still extremely low out here right now see here's an example I've actually walked up on this spot before um, this layer right here of rocks well this big old spot has just recently been deposited here all of it because look what's underneath it a mask and we all know that's within the last two years so that whole pile has been plopped down you know that's probably a foot deep that was plopped down on top of that mask this river just its ability to move material is incredible here and the river is totally different than it was the day before in a lot of the areas all right a little outcropping of gravel that's washed out underneath this bush here and I think I see a work piece of stone hold on the winds starting to blow I think it's right there some stuff I actually don't want the Sun to come out right now because it's about 3 in the afternoon starting right about right now at this time in the afternoon the Sun starts getting so low this winter Sun it's so low on the horizon that it it casts shadows over every single one of these tiny little rocks. And when that happens, maybe it's just my personal eyesight, maybe it does it to everybody, but it just creates this weird kind of distortion where these shadows obscure your vision and it kind of, it tires my eyes out actually. Um, and I just don't feel like I could see anything anymore. So in the winter time, I actually like it to be cloudy outside when I'm out later in the day like I am right now. Um, so I'm hope that's what happened yesterday. I came out for like two hours, hour and a half, and the sun was out. It had been a beautiful day, but I just got out too late. And this, you know, 30 minutes into hunting, the lighting was so bad. It was so bad. I just, it was almost pointless to be out. But I wanted to get out. Yeah. 
I've been not been able to be out on the river in a long time, so I didn't mind it. It was nice just to walk around. Move down closer to the water here. Possibly. It's this little white guy right there. It's a little cutting blade. Actually, that feels like it's been ground. Boy, that's beautiful. It's almost like marble. Wow. I found a great big preform out here. About probably 50 yards that way. Out further in the water that was made of this exact same material. It really is. It looks like white marble. And it feels like it too. Cool. All right, guys. Um, I'm starting to run out of energy, and uh, I just kept pushing myself to go further and further. And I'm following the water line right here, straight down this little freshly washed gravel area. And I just walked up. I almost stepped on it. I walked up on a point. I know it's a point for sure because I already took some pictures of it, but I haven't even touched it or picked it up. Tell me if you can see it. It's right here. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. Look at the curve. This thing is curved. Wow. What an interesting, what an interesting arrowhead. Maybe it, it wouldn't have made a very good projectile, I don't think. So you can see where it was fluted right there. Maybe just a little knife blade. Oh, it's, it's red on the tip right there. Wow. I was about to turn around and go back. Boy, that's, I mean, it's really well made. I think the wind's blowing on the camera. It's really well made. It's just odd. Maybe it was made from a flake, the way it's curved like that. Wow. Boy, that feels good. Is it some kind of jasper? Oh yes, first one since I was sick. Oh wow. It's all there too. I've been really fortunate lately on finding pieces that are, are whole. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, I gotta push on for a little while longer now, right? Okay, so I'm trying to identify this point right here. Um, let me know if you think I'm right or wrong about any of this, but I've got a couple ideas here. Um, so I'm just at projectilespoint.net, projectilepoints.net. Uh, I like this website for IDing. Um, and what we're going to do is go to the search here. We're going to go to straight state province search Oklahoma, because that's where I'm at. These are stemmed, or what I have is stemmed. Um, and so I found two here that I think it might be. It could be a Gary subtype, known at least here anyway as a Malvern. Um, they're pretty commonly found in my area, so that part makes sense. Um, these are some of the Malvern subtypes examples here. Um, so it could be one of those. It's kind of similar. The only thing is in the description it says they tend to be real thick. Um... So mine's really thin. So, well, not really thin, but it's thin. And uh, if it is a Malvern, it's going to be in this uh, 
3,500 to 1,900 BP uh, range as far as age. And the other one I spotted, the only other one I spotted that was fairly similar on here was this Yarbrough. Um, unfortunately, it's, they're not found as commonly in my area that they found kind of in the southeastern part of Oklahoma instead of the northeastern where I'm at. Uh, but it's got some similarities, especially to this one over here on the far right. Uh, so I don't know, could be, if it's a uh, Melvern, then we're looking at 2,500 to 1,500 BP. I don't know why they have to change these, you know, well, I, 20 BP, I guess apparently means before present. That's the new dating system that they're using, uh, and they consider present, I think, 1950. So it's convoluted and stupid. But, you know, anything they can do to not have to involve Jesus Christ in the in the dates. So they're pretty desperate. Anyway, uh, let me know if you think I'm right or not about the uh, identification on these. And if you've got any other ideas as well, let me know in the comments, please. Thanks for watching, everybody.